In feng shui, we talk about flow from external to internal. So when you go for any problem, like this one that we're in here right now is spacious and the flow is good. It flows to the rooms without obstructions. Now, some designs are designed in such a way that's so difficult from you know the access points of the, the unit to even a room or even to the kitchen. And when it's fully obstructed, that, that means there's no flow. The second thing uh, that we talk about is basically what's on the external environment. So externally, if we can see contours of the land, right? In Singapore, you won't see a big hill, right? But you can see highs and lows. This is what we call natural energy, and feng shui is mother nature. So when we get access to this, when your unit or your, your building gets to see it, you get to receive some of this overflow of life force energy. And the, the third thing is this, trust your instincts, right? You know, we have an internal uh, compass or um, you know, a guide that is with us. If we go to a place and we actually don't feel right, listen to it. Why don't you pay attention to that? That is the best film show you can listen to, right? So free and soft. Hey everyone, it's Joey Yap here and uh, I'd like to wish you guys a very happy and prosperous Chinese New Year. Now in the year of the metal red, be sure to stay positive, stay strong, although it might be a little bit challenging the year, but if you stay on track, I promise you it will be a fantastic year. Don't see five times.